good. It's your boy Slim with Big Mouth Media with Mel Major. Gang. Certified. What's going on, man? It's your boy Mel Major, man. The day we in the building, man, with Slim, man. What's going on with you, man? What's good with you, man? Certified, man. Where you out of, man? Sanford, North Carolina. Sanford. Yeah. Certified. What we going out there in Sanford? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy when I ask people about what be going on, where they from, man. People be like, yo, the reaction that people say. Yeah. <laughs> city wicked, man. Where? Yeah. So, actually, you just trying to stay out of the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Certified. So, so, so growing up, man, what kind of childhood you had, man? Like, I'm not gonna make it sound like I'm a, like it was, it was bad. Like sometimes it was good, mm -hmm. but yeah, it was rough. Mm -hmm. Like my mom, with her working, it was just me and my brother. Mm -hmm. So, I'm two years old. He eight, watching me. That's as, crazy. As a youngin. So your brother was eight, and you was two. Yeah. So he learned wow. he the stuff that he know now. He had to learn on his own. Yeah. Cause we ain't had no father, none of that. I mean, he had his dad, but you yeah. know, they were back and forth. He was going back and forth. Yeah. But my mom worked two jobs, two jobs. She worked. They were side by side. The jobs were side by side. Mm -hmm. So once she get done with one job, she come check on us, mm -hmm. and then she go to the next one. Facts. So like, was that like a nighttime thing that she was doing? Oh, it's like a daytime thing. I mean, I can't, I can't remember. Oh, facts, facts. No, two jobs. Facts. So seeing her work two jobs, did that like push your hustle in the, any, any? Yeah, like when she was telling me about it. Mm -hmm. like, I'm young. I ain't yeah, really so when you young. got older. Yeah, when she, when I got older, that's when she started telling me mm -hmm. stuff like that, and then I understood what life was like. You gotta sacrifice. Facts. Talk about <laughs> sacrifices. They, um, you talking about the project? Before yes. the interview, you say you got like a project you're working on right now. Yeah, sacrifice. Facts. Uh, sacrifices, I mean, they can be getting in depth, but like, what does it mean to you? What does sacrifices mean to you? Like, you gotta, you gotta go without sometimes. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of times you gotta go without. Mm -hmm. Or you gotta just sacrifice it. You gotta sacrifice your chance. Mm -hmm. Do what you're gonna do. Facts. Like, even with, like you say you have a son, so even with your son, you seen like sacrifices you had to make. Yeah, a lot. Mm -hmm. A whole lot. Facts. Even like making those sacrifices, how they made you like a better person that you seen? Yeah. Facts. Yeah. What have you learned from any of your sacrifices? Um, shit. I learned a lot. Like, at first I was a, like, needy and wanting a little, you know, but now I, I understand. Can't get it, you can't get it. Facts. So either you gonna to work to get it, mm -hmm. or you just not gonna have it at all. Facts. So even with you like raising your son, like that's something like you show him or Yeah, cause I ain't have, ain't have my dad. Mm -hmm. Like at all, he neglected me. Mm -hmm. So I'll Even like the day you haven't talked to him? Yeah, I mean, when I got older my mama was she ain't, she ain't never stopped me, but she tried to tell me. Mm -hmm. But like I rode my bike all the way to his house. I was asking everybody like, where is this at? Where is this street at? Yeah. So I rode my bike all the way to his house. First time I met him, like physically, mm -hmm. older wise. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what up? I mean, we, we chilled a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, like he was on the move. Yeah. And he had to just keep going and keep going. Mm -hmm. So I ain't paid it no mind, but I built a relationship with him and all that. But then shit just ticked off like, damn. Like once everybody start telling this story, like damn, you really let this happen just to get yeah. What what was the story? You you care to talk about that right now or? Uh, when I was born, like they had to draw a lot of blood from me, a whole lot of blood. Mm -hmm. So he he basically wanted to get tested to see if I was his. Yeah. But I mean. Okay. So even when you had your child, the way you found out you was having a son, I how were it? The crazy thing is, before I had him, my mama died. Word? And he looked just like 
I that's mean, crazy. Like me. Yeah. Split in with y'all. That's crazy. That's crazy. Fact, fact. So I'm talking about sacrifices, man. Like sacrifices for you know your project that you must have had to make some like even within like yourself, like with within like the music, doing music. Have you seen sacrifices you had to make? Yeah, I had to leave. I leave. I left a lot of people alone. Like, right. People ain't mean me no good. Mm -hmm. Like I don't hang around a big crowd. Like, I'm a father. Yeah. So I mean, he gonna come first before I even do anything else. But, I, I did a whole 180. I ain't doing no 360. 360, you gonna come right back to the same spot. Mm -hmm. I did a 180. Yeah. A lot of people, they feel as if when you stop talking to them or stop hanging around there that you done changed or you feeling acting funny or something yeah. like that. Did you um did you receive any of that? Yeah, a lot. Mm -hmm. A whole lot. What were people actually saying? Exactly what you said. Where? Fake, acting funny. Yeah. What not, but I mean. But as you seen like a vision that you knew you had to get to? Yeah. Yeah. Before, what was before like before I lost my mom, I was running the streets. Mm -hmm. Like for really like stressing her and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But it's like when she died, like I was mad, but at the same time I knew I had to, you know, get on my shit because like she was the only one like beside me twenty four seven or I'm beside her twenty four seven, so I'm out here on my own. I'm yeah. not no, I'm not up under my mom or around my mama or no shit like that. So I had to get my shit together because it's just me and family too, also, but it's just me. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So right now, uh, you got your son. Who else are you actually looking out for right now? Uh, like my aunt, my uncles, my brothers. So you got people asked to count on you? Like right now, I did a, um, I did a version that at the, the city girls thing. Mm -hmm. I did a version of that, and I put it on Facebook. And it's like most of the city fuck with it, mm -hmm. like they're sharing it, liking it, and whatnot. And I put another video up recently, and they were liking and sharing it. And I stopped rapping and now. I'm back. Thanks. Oh, you took you stopped rapping. Why was the reason why you stopped rapping? Cause I had, I had a. I had a focus. Like, you had to find yourself? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. What did you actually, what was like the process of doing it? What, find myself? Yeah. Shit, that shit was hard. But I know I was I was just doing an interview with Arles earlier. He was talking about like depression. He actually lost like his his um, three month year old son. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. And he was talking about um, like depression and stuff like that. Was you dealing with like any depression yeah. during that time? Yeah, I'm, I'm still depressed. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly. Right. Like most people don't really, their biggest problem is they don't admit to things. Mm -hmm. And with depression, you have to admit to it. Right. Before you even get better for it. With any problem, you got to admit the problem of, right. you feel me? Right. Yeah, yeah. So, with that, like, depressed. I, don't, I, I was stressing, but, you know, ain't no need for me to stress. Mm -hmm. I'm 22 years old. Yeah. Like, there's no need for me to stress. Yeah. But, yeah, depression is a motherfucker, though. Do you, what do you do to actually like cope with it or help with it? Honest, bro, I don't, I don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. like, I, like when I'm alone, mm -hmm. everything just play in my head. It's like a movie, mm -hmm. but it's clips going bam, 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 mm -hmm. bam. So yeah. there ain't really much that I like do for it. Everybody tell me to talk, but most people just really want to know your business so they can run to the next person. Don't act like they give a fuck when they when they really don't. Yeah. There's some don't even wrong with some people that do care. Mm -hmm. But most people they just wanna like just find out, just be nosy pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Yeah, that's all it is. Facts. So when you write music, do that help at all? Or do you just take like what you guys are thinking about and put that in the music? Yeah. I talk with my music, I talk about what I've been through mm -hmm. and what's real. Facts. I'm not a sugarcoat shit. Facts. At all. Facts. So, like, in your music, there's no, like, like, cap in your music, like, a lot, because, like, I know it's, like, the thing right now, a lot of people, they talk about a whole bunch of stuff, like, they're not doing or stuff they don't got, a lot of that type of stuff, but your music is, like, authentic. That's why you feel like people yeah. want to fuck with it. But one thing is, I don't, I don't do Zans. I don't do Zans. I pop, 
No, I don't do Zane. Yeah, yeah, Zane's a devil, man. I was taking yeah. Zane's at one time, man. I sleep all day. Right, right. Zane's the yeah. devil, man. Right. <laughs> if anything's the devil, Zane's is. <laughs> For real, no bullshit. Zane's, man. I don't see how people be. They just be popping them bitches. Like, really, too. really be successful. Period. I ain't gonna say you uh, you can't do like drugs, but. Downers, you can't be doing hella downers and out here trying to yeah. do the stuff that you're doing, man. Yeah. Like, like people in Hollywood, they're doing cocaine, stuff like that. <laughs> Uppers and stuff like that. You can't be doing none of that. You feel me? But even within that, you didn't, like, explore any drugs, like, during the Depression? Uh, uh, when my grandma died, I was on lean mm -hmm. and smoking weed. Thanks. Like, because, like, like I told y'all, my mom was working. But when I got older... <clears throat> I get off the bus at my grandma's house, mm -hmm. so I start being with them more, and you know I got attached to my grandma. Yeah. So when she died, I was in sixth grade, so I was still young. Yeah. So got all the weed, mm -hmm. drunk lean and shit like that. Right, so you was drinking lean before it was even like cool. People was making like a fashionable thing. They had two cups and all that stuff. You was drinking lean then. Not not necessarily, cause you know like Pimp C and them. Mm -hmm. Pimp C, the one that they call it scissor mm -hmm. back then. Yeah. But, but I ain't gonna say I was the like first one with it, but not, like, not like that. Yeah. yeah. But you was actually drinking it like back then, not like trying to be cool. You was more so doing it as like right. as an outlet. Yeah. Thanks. Forty five, man. So you got the song sacrifices. So you probably then you didn't say you from even talking to you now. We ain't really like too too in depth, but I could tell you, you made a lot of sacrifices in your life. To where like it even get you naming your project sacrifices. Yeah. Like doing the projects during the process of that, like what was your process of coming up with the title? Like, did you have another title in mind? Nah, it was just sacrifices. Where this is like the mode, like the that you in right now, the vibe? Yeah. Like I ain't I ain't never had a mixtape. For real? Never had a mixtape. So you just dropped singles? Yeah. Okay. I was doing singles or I was doing like freestyles and stuff like that, but like, I never had a mixtape. Okay. This is my first mixtape. Why now? I'm gonna take it serious now. So okay. Yeah. Facts. What was like one of your main, I know probably like you having a son, but what is, is another motivation that you had for actually like, really taking music and going hard right now with it? Like, seeing, like performing. I mm -hmm. perform with my cousin, my cousin Trapper. Mm hmm. And he was like, yo, let's do, um, let's perform the song we did at Spencer. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, cool. So we had a little local club named Oasis. And okay. I performed up. Sure Once I seen how many people, like, vibing to my shit and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I liked it. So I like You like that feeling? Yeah. 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 Facts. So even, like, doing music now, coming back, have you seen anything that's, like, that's, like, a struggle in doing music? Been uh, independent artists? Uh, I mean, like, hold on, what, what you mean? Like, anything that you've seen, like, it's like an obstacle. Like, doing music that you would see, like, for artists. I know, for one thing, you definitely have to have money to be a rapper. You right. definitely, because it definitely talk money, it costs money to be a rapper. Yeah, yeah. It's like a post. <laughs> it was like, yo, you fall off trying to be a rapper. Right, you gotta pay for beats. <laughs> studio session, if you ain't got your own studio. Yeah. Video camera, man. Oh, you got back performing. You got on stage, you got any shows you got coming up lately? What, soon? Nah. Where? Nah. I ain't got no shows yet. You just working on a project? Yeah. Sure, fun. Sure. Yeah. I performed at um, the Hip Hop Awards. Um, okay. DZ, my cousin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he um do like a Hip Hop Awards together. To my DZ from Sanford? Yeah. It was at him checking on Big Mouth like maybe like a week or so ago, maybe like a month ago. Yeah, I seen, I seen that. Sure, fun. That's like your blood cousin? Yeah. Sir, fun. Y'all yeah. got any music coming out together? It's coming. Where? Yeah, it's coming. All right, I know that should probably be dope, though, for real, for real. Yeah. But I know from even talking to him, he's like more on the authentic side of uh, with the music as well. So I know a track from y'all would definitely be dope. Yeah. yeah. Facts. Is, it, uh, is there anything that y'all like learn from each other? Doing uh, music? I mean, music wise, not, not much. Because, like, he, you know, he just not too long ago, like, taking it serious itself, but 
like coming up, like in school and shit like that, like yeah, yeah, he put some wisdom in my head, like some knowledge and whatnot. Gave me some game. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's that's man. Well, shit, we talking about sacrifices, man. This whole interview, we been talking about it, man. What can people expect from the project, man? Turn. You know, my thing. Where? That's my, that's my major goal. Where? For you to feel my pain without me harming you. Okay. Or me harming anybody. Yeah. I just want you to feel my pain and what I went through. So when like from like the first track to the end, people probably can listen to it and like really like get to know you from the project in a sense. Yeah, but I'm still gonna have something to, you know, turn it up. But at the same time, it's yeah. gonna be some song where you're gonna sit and listen to like, damn, that's what we went through. Yeah. Or that's what we've been going through. Mm -hmm. like so it ain't just gonna be like, like, uh, slow tempo songs. You got like some turn up club songs like that too? Yeah. Facts. Yeah. yeah, that's mandatory. Same fact. Yeah. Especially coming from Sanford, man. Y'all turn up out there, so you got to bring some of the music, man. Right, right. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Certified, man. Before we get up out of here, I want to ask you one more question, man. Like, um, once you get to like the level where you want to go, a lot of people that what people call made it. You feel me? Where do where you want your son to see in you? Shit, I hear the greatest. You said that he's the greatest, or so even greater than you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't, I don't really know, because like me, myself, not having a father, father yeah. so I can't say, oh, daddy this and daddy that, Facts. but Tell that's my goal for me, not having it, <laughs> so I know what to do, really, like, stay with him and stay on and shit like that, like, be Facts. a father. Facts. Certified, man. Oh, shit, man. We right here on Big Mouth Media, man. Got my man Slim in the building right now, straight out of Slim Foot, San Foot, man. Yeah. They call it the Sand Trap out there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, every time I say this song from San Foot, they're like, yeah. Like, so it really be, it really be going down out there in San Foot, man. For real, for real, man. The trap, it's, it's called Trap for a reason. Where? Yeah, a lot of people, it's like, they'll leave for a little bit. Mm -hmm. they find their way back. For real? Yeah, Why is that? Because, like... I don't know, it's, it's just a trap. It's like they, everybody, the city's small for one. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly people that's kin now. Like a lot of people is really family. Mm -hmm. At the end, once you check their bloodline all the way down. Family. Yeah. So it's so small, and then you got a city full of your family. Then you go somewhere else, you're like, damn, I don't know nobody, or I gotta, I gotta get to know this person. Mm -hmm. I gotta do that. But shit, the city is small. It's real small. Yeah. So, it's a trap. Sure, fire, man. Shit, it's male major, man. Right here on Big Mouth Media, man. Got Slim in the building, man. Yeah. Got a project, Sacrifice, dropping soon. You got a date for that? or? Nah, I ain't got no date. Well, this summer? Say, yeah, this summer. I'm, I'm going to just put it that way. This summer. This summer. This summer is going to be up. Certified man, stay tuned for that this summer, man. Yeah, we're gonna have some stuff on Big Mouth posting when you get ready to drop the video and all that stuff. We'll post it up there, man. So, y'all stay tuned on that. Yo, right on Big Mouth Media, Mel Major Slim. Anything else you want to let people know, man? We're on Big Mouth right now, man. I'm back. I'm never leaving. Certified, man. We out of here. Yeah.